Welcome back to PT Storytellers. Storytellers. Hey. All right, so we covered the harder sale. Let's talk about easy sales. Talk a little bit about an easy sale that you've had, what made it easy, and also do you think you can replicate that in <laughs> essence? But, Why don't you like easy sales, But John? before, yeah, <laughs> before I go there, I want to talk about easy sales bother me with PT services. And the reason they bother me is I think sometimes people – they need a little more to have great expectations going into what we do. So when somebody buys, we we affectionately call it just a one call close kind of thing. It's not common. And when they happen, we do different things now before somebody goes through the entire process just because there's too much they don't yet know that they need to know. Okay. So cautionary tale I for me. I get that. I get that. I you, on the other hand, love easy. <laughs> Why have five meetings to get a sale when you can get it done in one? That's yeah, the way. I get it. So, so my easiest sale, and it, this thing has paid me a lot of money. I got a call from a CEO of a company, and the guy was just a jerk on the phone. And I, everything inside of me is like, I don't want to work with this guy. I don't want to work with this sales. I just, for whatever reason, didn't like yeah. it. And, and I didn't even put him in any pain. He's, he's like, I just want, I know about saying there, how much are you? So I told him, and he goes, for two people? I go, should I charge you that for one? And he goes, no. And he goes, that's a lot of money for two people. And I said, well, then don't do it. And I really meant don't do it. Yes. And he said, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> it was about a 12 minute call. I've made almost a hundred grand off that guy. And I actually really like him now. I just didn't like him then. I, I hung up the phone going, what was that? And he gave me his card number and everything. And yeah. The easiest sale. And, and what I learned, people buy for their reasons, not mine. Yes. yes. And he had reasons. He knew about Sandler. He was a quick decision maker. And he's like, let's get going. Tell me your price. Boom, boom, boom. Well, and the other thing to be cautious of, my cautionary tale on the front end. But the other side of that is... When somebody's ready to buy, don't stop them. <laughs> and sometimes I, I've seen salespeople stop them. Oh, like, no, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Effort. Or whatever their reasons are. Oh, well, I've you talk about too. sell now, educate later. And that's, yeah. for us, when it's a one close event, it's just more, we'll do more education along the, the onboarding side of things. So <laughs> don't that's stop about, them. That's about don't a stop. point. Sometimes you only get those quick sales when you've made mistakes mm. on not closing what could have been quick sales before. Yes, yes. And so there you go. It's experience. There we go. All right, everybody. See you soon. Take care.